And welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday's Long Lost Tips. We've had nothing but chaos around here the last month, starting from losing the battery charger for the camera, to the computer getting 15 viruses and crashing, to on and on it goes. Well, and today I was going to film mounting a coyote head, but JJ didn't show up, so I had to mount the coyote head, and uh, JJ was supposed to do this bird here, so I'm going to do a quick bird body tip. See if we can salvage something out of today. I have a real exotic bird here. This is a black Hawaiian grouse. I don't know what country they're native to, but this was shot in Hawaii. And if you can look at the inside of it, I don't know, it's really, looks like the guy walked up to it and shot it. So I'm gonna have to carve a head. All kinds of problems with this thing. But I'm gonna do a, a quick bird wrapping thing. I mean bird wrapping. That's where birds wrap. Body wrapping thing. We get this string here, a giant roll of string. I forget where we get it. We get the wood wool. I always get everything from research. I like to soak my wood wool in a little water first because that makes it tighter. We have our bodies out here for reference. So you just kind of make a mushy shape and then start. Find a place and you just start. And you pull a string really tight. And usually, I'm going to try to make this the back and this the front. And we build close to the shape and size of the real bird, but not exactly because we're going to take and do all our final shaping with the cotton just like they did 100 years ago. Now you can see I'm starting to get a shape already just by going on the profile. Now I'm going to go on the horizontal here a little bit. I do this to start establishing a center line in the body. And as I go, probably covering it with my hand here, but as I go, I'm tightening and pulling tighter and tighter on the string. And, uh, sorry, some big old trucks backing up in front. Probably the eviction people with the sheriff me out of here or something. So now I've got a basic shape, back, start of the breast, start of the butt. I put along here and I can see that I'm way short. I'm just in my height, I don't know on the body. So we'll grab a little more and now I'll shape it a little more on purpose now. I'll add some up here start forming the breast and you can make these bodies when you get good at it and you don't have to talk while you're doing you can do them pretty quick and I just don't like plastic bird bodies because they're so rigid most of them are too big and especially on a flying bird when you set your wing it's set there, man. You can't get any decent shaping at all out of it. So, you know, like I said, my, the guys whose shoulders I stand on, who I've had the privilege of teaching me, they all learned it the old school way from the original maestros. There, I mean, you can see it's turning into something now. And you can get as fancy as you want. Some guys go ahead and uh, make them look just like a body. I'm going to put a little bit of a back on it. See, I'm starting to establish where my uh, wing bones set in. I'm not going to put too much back, just a little bit, because we're going to make the nice rest round shape with the, uh, the cotton. That's going to get our really good shape. 
And the more you, you wrap this, the stiffer, tighter it gets to, to hold the wires in. And you can pinch this stuff and do whatever you want. So there, man. You got it basically just about making again, that's the uh, the back. I don't know, I might as well call it the butt end. Even if you want, you can come around like this and get your breast shape right at your gut sack like that. You can see that. But see, a lot of that we put in, like I said, with the cotton, but I'll just do it real quick to emphasize how you could shape this. The more time, like I said, if you put 10 more minutes in it, you could make it look like a real body. So now, I'm going to stick my neck wire in there. Show you how I do that. Anyway, this will work. I come in from the front and I put it pretty much up here so the neck will sit in right where it does on the body when we put the neck in. You run it through, make a loop, push it back in, grab some pliers somewhere, right here, pull it taut, then my next thing I do is I make a little bendy thingy here pinch it together, twist it a couple times. Now it's locked in. Okay, now I could wrap a cotton neck, but on this I kind of cheat. I use this foam stuff. And uh, a lot of times if you have a squatting bird like this, you can make the neck shorter than it needs to be. This one, I think I'm going to do it maybe displaying to the hand so I'm just gonna match it up got a little bit too long there we go put that through there try to get it right through the center if you can there we go and bam now your first bend in the bird net comes out about an inch to three quarters, half depends how big the bird is. It makes a bend there, comes down, then it kind of swoops back up and bends back into the back of the head. It doesn't go up through the head, up through the bottom. It kind of um, comes up and has a little angle where the head sits on. Now we have another problem. Since this head's grenaded, I'm going to have to carve a little head out of foam and uh, I got a block of foam up there from something I have cut into a square from a neck or something and these serrated knives work really good for cutting cutting your uh, your foam in a little square and then all you're gonna do is make a little I'm gonna go off memory here since I have no skull for reference and it's got to be kind of small because we got to put it in from the back but you just basically start carving yourself a little head then you can take this sure foam and rough it out because it doesn't have to be perfect again perfect shape because again we're going to come in and we'll use eyes on a wire in this one because and that'll stick into the foam and uh, oops. we'll put the eyes bird eyes on a wire and it'll hold in there and then we can take a little cotton in for a shape then I'll come in here and fine tune it a little bit put a couple little cheeks in there give it some tunnel effect like they have you see and it's just it's not that big a deal carve a little 
center in there and see as it's starting to take shape we want the front flat because we're going to have to pin the beak to it I can't stand them plastic heads that guys use that you have to glue to because I just can't imagine long term the glue sticking to that resin sticking to the the feathers forever without it coming apart but heck I've been wrong before like almost every day especially if you ask my wife I didn't say that today now I'm gonna put a little angle on the back of the head so I'm gonna stick this through just for an example to show you how how you kind of want it to come together so there's your bird neck and head the body neck and head we got our leg wires I got this prepped up I'm gonna end this tip now and then we're gonna start another one right after I'm gonna put the whole thing together so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week